Vermont Institute of Natural Science. We just got a raven dropped off, and Kayla's going to get the raven out. Um, and we don't know what's wrong with him, so we're going to do a full exam and figure out what his injuries are and how to treat him. Um, ravens can be very feisty. Um, they have incredibly strong beaks. Um, and as you can see, they're much bigger than crows. And what I'm noticing right off is that his left wing, it looks very loose and is drooping. Um, and what I'm going to do is get, do we have a head cover out here? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, yeah right here. Okay. What I'm going to do is cover the raven's head um, so he doesn't have to see everything that's going on around him. If he lets me do this. So I'm going to look at the wing that looks broken to me first and try to figure out where the fracture is. Oh dear. This feels pretty bad. Um, this area of his wing, which is where his radius um, and uh, ulna are, uh, two bones in his wing right here, are. Um, it's very, very swollen. So I actually can't feel where the fracture exactly is, but there's definitely a fracture right here. Um, it's just like a huge, like almost golf ball sized swelling. Um, so there's not much I can do until we bring that swelling down as far as figuring out which bone is broken. So that'll be our first thing is getting that swelling reduced. Um, he, his shoulder feels a little loose to me too. Um, so we'll have to look at that more closely. I don't feel anything puncturing through the skin though, so I, I think the bones are still underneath the skin. Wow. Okay. So now I'm gonna check his other wing. And on this wing, there's no swelling. I can feel the radius and the ulna. I can feel the humerus up to the shoulder and everything's intact. Um, and he's got full range of motion. That wing looks great. And then next, um, I'll check the legs. Birds do this a lot. They grab eat their own feet. So just like with the wings, I go from top to bottom to feel each individual bone. Make sure I don't feel any fractures or swelling or looseness. So now I'm going to check the raven's head, and basically <laughs> he's biting the towel. So. And the glove. And the glove. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there we go. You can bite that for a little while. So when I check the head, um, I'm going to check his ears and make sure there's no blood coming out. Um, sometimes it can be a little hard to find their ears. in there somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there it is. So if you can see that hole, that's his ear. And I don't see any blood. No signs of trauma or bruising. And then we check their eyes. And for the eyes, I'm just checking for a response in the, the pupil and looking for any signs of blood, and his eye looks fine. And I'll do the same to the other side. Eyes 
that's good. And then I gotta check inside his mouth. And with ravens, this is never fun. They have very sharp beaks and they're very strong. And I'm just checking for hydration and the color. And his, his mouth looks pretty good. There's no signs of blood um, and it looks nice and moist, which is good for a raven. All right. So now we're gonna get a weight on him and give him some medication to reduce the swelling in that wing. And we're gonna put a temporary wrap on it just to stabilize the fracture site. Um, and we'll go from there. Hi, I'm Megan from the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. What you have just seen is one example of the more than 400 birds that Vince cares for each year. As a 501c3 not-for-profit organization, we depend on your support to provide the medical treatment these birds require to get them healthy and back into the wild. In addition to our on-site avian rehabilitation facility, the Vins Nature Center in Queechy, Vermont proudly displays an impressive collection of live raptors, songbirds, and other animals for you to see up close. With 47 acres of diverse natural habitat, the Vins Nature Center offers a host of educational programs and special events enjoyable for people of all ages. For the latest information on the birds in our care, a list of our current Nature Center programs, outreach opportunities, and events, or to contribute to Vins so that we can continue our important work, please visit our website at vinsweb.org or call 802-359-5000 for more information.